Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be learning about systems, how to solve systems of linear inequalities. Okay, so just a side note, um, for greater than or less than, we will use dash lines. And these dash lines will only indicate that the solutions is not part of the line. Just like what we do when it comes to solving um, linear equality, okay? We are using dashed or, I mean, yeah, dashed lines or um, solid lines, okay? Next one, um, for the greater than or equal and less than or equal, we will use solid lines, meaning um, this, uh, all the points that will lie on the line and also on the shaded part, same goes para dun sa dashed lines, okay? On the, line, on the lines will be part of the solution, okay? So, let's have our first example so that we may um, have a better picture of what we will be going on. We will have x plus y is less than 2 and 3x minus y is greater, uh, greater than negative 3, okay? So, in this case, ayun nga, um, this, uh, this solution that we will be doing today would be um, related to solving linear inequalities wherein we will graph the given and shade some parts but um, in line with this um, topic systems we will graph two lines two inequalities on a single Cartesian plane meaning um, we will have two shaded parts and two lines as well okay so for us let's start with our lesson the first thing that we need to do is we need to graph we need to um, graph um, the first equation, ito yan. And then the second equation. So, for graphing the first equation, we will use the x is equal to 0. Okay. And y is equal to 0. Okay. So, having this. Okay. Having this, we will have um, 0 as x. So, we will have 0 plus y is greater than 2, uh, less than 2 y is less than 2 so this is positive take note positive and then we will have as y as 0 being x plus 0 is less than 2 or being x is less than 2 okay so this would be again positive so this would be mo fall mostly on the quadrant one so we are doing this y kasi um, we would want at least to have an idea what major parts of our quadrant we will use kasi if all our points will lie on the first quadrant like we, our graph will look like this majority on the quadrant 1 and very little for the quadrant 2 and the rest okay so going back let's now plot uh, i mean graph our equation 2 being 3x minus y is greater than negative 3 and uh, we will assume that x is 0 and of course our y is also 0 okay x is 0 would be 3 times 0 minus um sorry uh, equation yeah yeah three times zero minus y is greater than negative three zero yan negative y is greater than negative three y is greater than um positive three okay and then we will have this one px minus y is greater than negative three oh sorry this would be zero it's supposed to be zero okay and then finally we will have um, 3x is um, greater than negative 3x is greater than negative 1 okay so we'll have this one as negative and positive negative positive so this is on quadrant 2 okay so knowing that our graph will lie on quadrant 1 and quadrant 2 therefore our it look of the Cartesian plane will be mostly on the first and second quadrant so say we have this um cartesian plane quadrant one and quadrant two okay so we'll graph our given based on the values of y on our first equation and x on the first equation x is two so we will have one two so this is two and then we have y as two also one two so the um we will plot the first line using a um, yellow marker okay so we have yellow here then yellow here and then just simply connect the points yeah okay and then the next one let's um try to plot our 
second equation being 3 and negative 1. So, negative 1 for our x. So, it would be somewhere here, negative 1. And our y is, sorry, y is positive 3 here. Positive 3. Okay? So, what we need to do is we need to plot, and we will plot this one using the violet one. And then, oh, sorry, um, yes, again, later we will go with that. Wait, let me undo this one. There's some more better here. Yes. Okay, so we have this given graph for equation 2. And then we have equation 1. Ah, sorry, let's, yeah, let's just use violet. I don't know, let's use yellow. Okay, equation 1. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to determine, do we use uh, dashed or straight lines? Since, of course, we will use dashed lines. So I'll just... Um, change this one to into a dashed line. I'll just erase some parts. So, this, say this is a dashed line. Then, same goes for our Y. So, dashed line just simply indicates that your, um, and your line is not part of the solution. Again, your line is not part of the solution. Meaning, if I will take, say, a point here. I'm sorry. I think I'm just erasing. Uh, if I will take a point here, say here, okay, this point is not part of the solution, okay? So, the next thing that we need to do is we need to test the values. And this is the last thing that we need to do. No, no test values, okay? Test values. Test values at 0, 0, okay? So, for equation 1, we have x plus y is less than 2. And equation 2 is 3x minus y is greater than negative 3. Okay? So, we test at values at 0, 0. So, we will assume that your y and x is 0. And you ask yourself, is 0 great less than 2? If it is true, shade towards 0. And then, of course, in the second one, we have 0 minus 0 is greater than negative 3. If 0 is ne greater than negative 3, then yes, it's true. We, d we do the same. We shade towards zero okay so what would happen here is we locate zero zero again the, it is both true so we have zero zero here so we shade towards zero zero so we shade here for the yellow one towards zero okay and then the next thing we do is we shade for the violet one going towards zero again yeah. and it now, we have our solution. What do we mean by this? Every given solution that would be part of the shaded part for violet and yellow would be part of the solution. So, let me take, for example, this one. And I will not ev um, evaluate or show. I'll just tell you guys. Okay? Having a point here, say, in this violet shading, shaded part only, it's not part of the solution because, again, in our system, we need to satisfy both. So, meaning, every given that is part of the shaded of the violet and yellow one is part of the solution. But if just for violet, no. For yellow, no. And definitely for any point that is outside of the shaded region is not part of the solution. Again, everything that is part of the both shaded part would be part of the solution. Okay, every point that would fall under here. Okay? So, that would be our first example. And also, let me just um, remind you guys that every part of the line is also not part of the solution if it is a dashed line. So, therefore, we should have a solid line. Okay? So, uh, let's have our next example. So, that we can uh, proceed. Uh, say we have our next example as... We have 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 1. And we have x minus 3y is less than 2. Okay? Less than 2. So, what do we need to do? We need to graph first. We need to graph equation 1 at the end. And we need to graph also equation 2. So, for graphing, again, we assume 0. Okay? So, we'll have 2 times 0 plus y is greater than 1. y is greater than or equals to 1. As for the y, 2x plus y is 0 is greater than or equal to 1. 
being 2x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is greater than or equal to 1 half. So it's okay even if it's fraction. This is positive and positive, therefore our given would be on the quadrant 1. Next we graph equation 2. Okay, graphing equation 2 will give us um, uh, x minus 3y. I, of course, sorry. That's the equation itself. So we just simply need to um, assume x is 0 and of course y is equals to 0. Okay, so this would be 0 minus 3y is great less than 2. And then we have um, x minus 3 times 0 is less than 2. So we will have negative 3y is less than 2 y is less than negative 2 thirds and our x would be of course less than 2 so we have this one as positive and negative this would be on quadrant number 4 graphing our given let's graph our given it's mostly on first and the fourth quadrant so therefore our graph would look like this yeah. and as for the measurements we will use one half okay uh, wait long maybe the bit yeah let's use one half let's use one half for two i for and uh, four x okay so this is um one half this is one this is um one and one half this is two okay and as for y we will use thirds we will use thirds this is one third i uh, know we have yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. This is um, 2 thirds. This is 1. And again, this is negative 1 thirds. This is negative 2 thirds. And this is negative 1. Okay, so let's plot our given points. The same we used yellow for the first equation. Y is equals to 1. And X is 1 half. And so we plot it. Let's undo that. And do that again. Okay, hopefully this is um, somewhat correct. Okay, let me just extend this one a little bit. Okay, so next one we plot for the. Uh, this one is a solid line, so this one is good. Now let's plot the second equation using a violet um marker. Let's have negative two thirds and we have positive two. Okay, so we will graph. Hopefully this is yeah. There you go, on point. Now this one is a dashed line, so therefore I will I will just change this one into a dashed line. Okay, so dashed line tayo. Sorry, may jinong bubure iba, but it's okay. So yan, dashed line. So having a dashed line means all the solution here on the line itself is not part of the I all points on the line itself is not part of the solution. Okay, so let's now assume zero. I use the test value as 0. So, test value natin, 0, 0. Maybe let's just, uh, sige, let's solve at the bottom part. Okay? Test values. Test at 0 and 0. Okay? So, our given is, okay, it's 2x. 2x plus y is um, gre greater than or equal to 1. And we have x minus 3y is less than 2. This is 0 and 0. 0 is greater than or equals to 1. And of course, we have 0 and 0. So therefore, 0 is less than 2. So you ask yourself, is this true or false? This one is false. And this one is true. When it is false, shade away. And if it is true, then shade towards. Okay? So let's shade away from the first equation. The first equation is the yellow one, so therefore we will shade away. This is our equation, right? Our line. And this is zero, so we shade away. So, um, away. Okay. And what's the next one? For the violet, it's true, so therefore we shade towards. Sorry, ma uh, madadamay ating uh, um, solution, but it's okay. Shade towards and kasama to yeah. okay so meaning guys every given point that would lie on our solution part on the shaded part would be part of the solution every given point on the shaded region would be part of the solution and in this case this is not 
because it's not part of the violet this is not because it's not part of the yellow this is not because it's not part of blue this is yes 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 why because they are part of the violet and the yellow one this one is no this one is no and this is no okay so again all points that are part of the all points that are part of the shaded regions two regions region for the first equation and region for the second equation would be part of the solution okay and we don't need to test that because we have already proven that on our um first um lesson our our second lesson regarding um linear inequalities okay so that would be it the process again i will repeat graph the given and graph second is potassium graph is test values so that you will know your shaded region okay basically there are just two medyo mahaba nga lang yung graph but then again yan if you would have any other questions kindly chat me in our chat box or you can view the video again so thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh